Hi, I'm Carly. Hi, I'm Jacqueline, and we are from the International Tour Cast of Wicked. And we are ready to take your questions. Go. <laughs> Hi, um, so before, while we, were, while we were waiting for the fans to ask us some questions, we already have some okay. from them. And yeah, let's start with there. So, um, theater fan Elfrida asks, what has been your favorite fan moment? Oh, oh, yesterday, <laughs> yesterday at the, the Green Belt Gallery, there was um, um, a, we had a costume competition and the effort and time that people had gone into making their costumes was so overwhelming and we were really yeah. blown away and everybody's costumes were fantastic and it was a really tough decision. So, yeah, it was so great. Great. Um, um, Yvonne asks, if you could do any an ensemble track from the show, which track would you want? I've actually done quite a lot of the ensemble tracks. I was um, Swing in the, the London cast of Wicked, so um, I love them all. My favourite, I think, would possibly be one of Glinda's friends. Probably Shen Shen, because she gets to sing that amazing line in Act 2. That is a good line, yeah. Um, well, Yvonne, I think I'd like to play one of the monkeys. <laughs> they just look like they're having so much fun and I'd love to be able to fly. Um, although I'd probably be terrible at it. <laughs> but um, yeah, probably one of the monkeys for me, I think. Great. Um, so, what are you most excited about now that you're about to tour Asia? Goodness. Coming all here. Of, yeah, <laughs> all of it. We um, we, well, I've never really spent a lot of time in this in this part of, of the world, so I, I know we, we both can't wait to to just go and explore these wonderful places. And we've heard lots about Manila. Meeting all you guys last night was was just so wonderful. We had such a warm welcome, so we can't wait to come back for more. Oh great! We're excited to have you guys here as well. Oh, oh thank, thank you. you. Um, so my asks, how did you react after getting the part of? Sorry. Oh, we're back. <laughs> We're back? Yes. Hello. <laughs> uh, so, Krisha asks, what is the strangest thing a role has you both required to do? So it doesn't have to be wicked, like a role. What's the strangest thing oh, you had to um, do? Yeah. Oh, I need, to, can, I need to have a think about that. Can we come back to it? Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, we'll have a think about Yeah, we'll have a think about it. Yeah, it's going to take me too long to have a think. Yeah. We'll come back. <laughs> <laughs> So Marvi asks, what's your favorite song in the musical and why? My favorite song is definitely No Good Deed. Um, I love, love, love singing that song. It's sort of halfway towards the end of Act 2 and it's Elphaba's breaking point. She's had enough. Um, you know, and she says, okay, everyone's going to call me wicked, then so be it. I'll be wicked and it's so powerful and I love music. I think my favorite moment is and gravity it's just yeah it just takes me back to being a young girl and watching Wicked for the first time and crying my way through it and um, yeah I remember the first time Jackie sang it in rehearsals and I, I had a proper fangirl moment <laughs> <laughs> I have one pretty much every evening when I watch her as well so yeah divine gravity for me um do you have anything in common with your Characters. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, probably a few things. Um, we both have blonde hair. Mm -hmm. Um, I like shoes. <laughs> no, I, I, Glinda's very ambitious, and I think that's something I definitely share with her. And she's fun, and I'm quite fun <laughs> sometimes. There you are. <laughs> um, Alpha Buzz. Elfa is a real dreamer, and um, and I'm Pisces, so I think I definitely share that uh, with her. Um, yeah, she's she's quite fiery as well, and coming from Scotland, we both come from Scotland, um, so I think I sort of have a bit of fire in my blood. <laughs> um, we already have some live questions coming in, so Louise <gasps> is wondering <coughs> if would you try riding a jeepney when you're here next year? What's that? What's that? Oh, it's it's our public transportation so it's this big but thing I said last night like, I said yeah. I really want it I, yeah. I was like can we go on that <laughs> so, 
So yeah, I definitely, definitely would like to. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, yeah. That would be fun. That'd we could get like a wicked themed one. Get a wicked one. Yeah. Like paint it green. That would be great. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, and um, Mania is asking uh, if you guys will stage door after the shows. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. We can't wait to yeah, meet all you can't guys. Wait to interact with you in that way. That's yeah, right. of course. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I'm sorry. Like, Il, Il Vase is asking, um, did you enjoy last night's party, last night's event? Yeah, yeah it was so it was great. We had yeah, so we, much fun. It was amazing. I couldn't believe how many of you came and how many of you made such an effort with your costumes and it was a yeah. very tough decision, wasn't it? Really tough decision. They were great costumes. But it was so lovely to have. We had lots of photos with everyone after. It was amazing. Thank you. Um, Kimberly has an interesting and funny <laughs> question. Oh. Have you ever got stuck on the bubble or the defying gravity as they not yet. <laughs> no, I think there's there <clears throat> there's been um, a moment where I turned around to go back into it and it it, it wasn't there, um, but it eventually arrived and I, and I hopped back yeah. in. But um, no, and I've I've never been stuck up in it. Not yet. Not yet. Touch wood. Well, touch wood. Touch wood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. Roscoe asks, aside from the upcoming roles you're about to do for Wicked, what else that what else do you dream of playing? Ooh, I would love to play Nancy and Oliver. Um yeah, she's a fab role. Possibly Grizabella and Cats. Yeah, we discussed that. We discussed that last night. Um I think it's because it's one of my favourite movies when I was younger I loved watching it and I think I asked to put it on every single Sunday morning um, I'd love to play Mary and Mary Poppins she's, she's a great role great um, Rachel <coughs> asks anything in particular in particular you want to try when you guys come over here to Manila places you want to go to or I want to go I want to go to Palawan and go to all the islands want to go visit the islands yeah it just looks so beautiful and I keep on seeing pictures on yeah. Instagram and I can't believe it's only an hour from here. I know. It's a five minute flight, right? Is it an hour and a flight or something? Like, yeah, around that time. Mm, yeah. Yeah, you get, you guys are so lucky to have that on your doorstep. Oh, it's it paradise. Looks incredible. <laughs> Was there ever a moment that you forgot your lines on stage or maybe no. you wouldn't want to? Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Again, no. wait, hope it doesn't happen. No, not not yet. <laughs> no. Oh, um, Louise wants to know what the wicked audition process is like. So, for me, it was um, it was a, an initial meeting um, where I um went and sang some of the material from the show, and um, then um, there was about three or four rounds of doing that, and um. Yeah, and then there's, uh, you, you just keep on working on the stuff and you, you, you work with the creative team, they give yeah. you direction, and then I had my final round and then I got a phone call. So, yeah, it's, 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 it's quite a tough process and a long process, um, but the payoff at the end was, 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 was kind of worth it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah well, I, I've been with the show since um, 2011. So, so my process has been quite different from Carly's. Um, I again went through the same similar audition process uh, five years ago. I had to do a bit of uh, a movement call to make sure that I could do the choreography from the show. And, and yeah, this time, this time round, I got a very big, a big surprise, uh, a lovely phone call um, to ask if I would love to play the part. And of course I said that. <laughs> Um, of course, you guys, being in Wicked, you're used to going to stage door and meeting the fans. Yeah. Um, Abby wants to know, have you ever stage door a show and who did you meet? Like, like have I ever been to yeah. a stage door? And as fans? And as just fans. Like, which show? <coughs> I've been to stage door, but always, always to meet, meet my, my friends. friends. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I always, um, whenever I go to see my friends in shows, yeah, I always go into stage door and I meet yeah. them. And so fan girl. Well, yeah. <laughs> you ever, is there any show that you'd be you'd go to the stage door for? Like, 
wait outside and hopefully meet the stars. Is there any show? I don't know. I don't think I've ever been to a show where, where I've done that. Not yet. Um, I actually, the show I was doing before this, I was doing it with Glenn Close, a really famous wow. American actress. And um, yeah, she was, she was amazing to work alongside. So um, yeah, I mean, if I hadn't been in the show, I would have definitely been but, in the stage yeah, door wanting her autograph. Like, yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. When, oh, sorry. when <laughs> sorry, when you guys have seen the show before, maybe before you got, uh, before you were part of it, is there, was there any moment that really stuck to you, like, like maybe yeah, is there anything like that? Yeah, I remember when I first watched the show. I was seventeen, and it was the first West End musical I ever saw. And when I was at college, Wicked was the musical. Yeah. Everyone was listening to it. It had just arrived in the West End, and yeah, we were all obsessed with it, and everybody wanted to be in it. So I took myself to see it, and um, yeah, that moment where she where she goes up and 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 flies at the end of Act One, I was a mess. Yeah. That was that was me. I was I was that was that was me. I was hooked. Yeah. From, from that moment. Well, I actually saw the show um, on its opening week in London and I seen Adina Menzel and I couldn't believe my luck. I remember when she ran out and the audience clapped for about five minutes before she could even do anything and uh, it was it was amazing and I, again defying gravity we were all like oh, this is gonna happen <laughs> oh wow and, um, and yeah astounding this was possibly one of the best ends to, to act one ever yeah. isn't it it's amazing yeah um speaking of edina mm. have you also met any or anyone from the original cast no no i've never no. i would i would be i would be going crazy if, if yeah. i met kristen I chenoweth i would girl. yeah I'd, <laughs> i think i'd probably i'd probably <laughs> have been or something i think she's she's i mean i looked up to her so much when i was at when i was training at college and I still do now. She's she's phenomenal and the iconic Linda, I suppose. So yeah, I would I would, I would be yeah. overwhelmed if yeah. I met her. So, um how's it like how, or how are you coping with the pressure of like stepping into the toes of these extremely popular characters that your idols have immortalized basically? They have immortalized. That's a very it's a very, yeah. very good way to put it. Yeah, I guess we um, it is. It's it's it's, it's a huge pressure and a, a huge a huge demand to, to do these roles. However, we we both really support each other and we've got the amazing support of the casting company and and the best thing that we can do is just go out and tell the story every night and and that's that's the that's the key for us I think. Yeah. And just enjoy it. You know, we have the most amazing um audiences that that come and watch the show every night and it's it, once we get on stage that's it we, we just roll with it and it's amazing um so do you have any favorite recent musicals that just came out mm -hmm. oh. like new ones or ones i've been to see recently yeah. Mm. or yeah that's as well i i'll tell you what i love the music from which is new i love the music from waitress which yeah, is just opened yeah, on broadway i love it i'd really like to see that i'd really like to be in it Ham <laughs> hamilton is opening in london um next year yes and it'll probably be sold out for years <laughs> but um, <laughs> yeah i would love to see that <coughs> yeah and also i hear ground groundhog day is um mm -hmm. is opened in london i hear it's heading to broadway and it's That's meant to be phenomenal and yeah. um, so that's another thing i'd love to yeah. see last year on broadway i seen two years ago i seen pippin Oh, yeah. oh, that was possibly one of the best things I've seen mm -hmm. for, for a long, long time. It was, yeah, I cried quite a lot watching it. <laughs> um, do you guys have any pre-show rituals? Yeah. Pre-show rituals. I, I don't know. There's nothing I feel like I have to do. There's, there's, the, sometimes, I think some people have things where they're like, if they don't do it, then they get 
yeah. a bit superstitious about it or they feel like things yeah. are maybe going to go wrong. Um, I always have to have like a, a, a little sweet. Yeah. Like a Jakeman's. We call it a Jakeman's. We have, they sell them over yeah. in the UK. We've but here, oh. <laughs> we have found the paper cow, the little um, sweets. Paper cow. Paper cow. Paper cow. Do you have them here? Oh, we, well, we've seen them in the airport. We've seen them anyway. in the airport anyway. We, <laughs> We're like, oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, it's like um, it's like a soothing, like a cough sweet almost. Yeah, yeah. soothing it, cough sweet, <laughs> soothing throat sweet. Yeah, um, uh, and they have like a, it's like cough medicine mm -hmm. as well. Yeah, so yeah. We, we love that. Um, so Sam asks, what makes each show new every night, even after like doing it a hundred times? You guys. Yeah. the audience yeah um but you know we we go out on stage every night and everyone in the company is has got the same intention and that's to tell the, the story, story. Yeah. and to go on the journey and um, we're, we're constantly finding new things with the characters and of the course time, you know, we keep investing in it so so it, it changes every night and you know it's live theater so everything is is constantly changing not not the show but things happen and and we react differently to each other, and yeah, it's, yeah. And audiences. Yeah, so it's, it's an ongoing process, and yeah. and these characters are so complex, and the story is 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 one that we we love to tell. So yeah. so there's we're constantly trying to add new layers and develop that. Absolutely. Um. Sorry. Um. There's an interesting challenge from one of our readers, and he says like. Would you guys want to rap like a <laughs> song from Hamilton, maybe? <laughs> I would be awful. <laughs> <laughs> and I think I think I'm, I think, I think I'm we'll leave that to the professionals. The professional yeah, rappers. yeah. <laughs> not not quite sure whether that would be my forte. We could practice that. We'll, we'll, we'll maybe practice. practice and come back to you on that. <laughs> wow, that's that's a promise, I guess. Oh no, we're going to Sorry. look forward to that one. <laughs> We could pass that on to, to some of the other cast members. Yeah, yeah, there's definitely some good rappers in our company. Bradley, Bradley would do it. Bradley would definitely do it. Bradley plays Fiero. He would rap. <laughs> yeah. So, um, is there anything you're expecting from the Manila audiences, or like, what do you guys think it would be, like, bring it here? Um, well, from the reception that we got last night, I think we're going to have lots of fun here. Yeah, the welcome we received oh, yesterday wow. from everyone and everyone we met was just so warm and oh. fuzzy. It made us made us feel really, really welcome. So thanks for that, and we yeah, really look forward to seeing you in February. Yeah. Um, Jen asks, "What's the wackiest thing you've done while in Wicked, or any like unexpected things happening happened on stage, or funny?" Like maybe things we don't notice as audiences. We had a probably a few wacky moments in rehearsals. Yeah, yeah, falling over or I fell over the broom. It was a good, it was a good moment. <laughs> <laughs> On my bum. <laughs> um, like, has any of the fans ever asked you to sign like weird body parts or even weird things or? What's your weird place? Like no, no. I've seen I've seen some people with tattoos of yeah. um, of, of the um of the witches, of the witches or like the, the cogs and things like that on their arms. Some of the quotes, uh, some of the the song lyrics that you know that are in the show. Yeah, I've not, I've not had to sign any body parts. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, if um if you guys weren't playing Glinda and Aquaba, <laughs> who else from the show would you want to play? Oh, I'd love to play Madame Marvel. Mm. I used to understudy it in um, in the London show, and oh, it's such a cool part. Yeah, maybe when I'm a bit older. <laughs> I think I'd like to play it as well because she yeah. hates Glinda so much, yeah. and Kim Kim gives me some awful looks when she whenever <laughs> whenever she we're on stage together. So I'd probably like to to be in her shoes and 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 do and do the same. Yeah. Sabrina asks, "What's your favorite costume?" Mm. Oh, Sabrina, that's a tough one. They yeah. are all. Oh, I mean, They're amazing. Glinda's Glinda's wardrobe is literally my dream. <laughs> so, 
my favourite is definitely the Act Two, Wicked Witch dress. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh no, wait, my my engagement dress, oh, the um, yeah. the 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 green, the like pale green one with them oh, um, all the the um petals at the back. That oh, is so pretty in it. It's my favourite. I love it. It's beautiful. Um, have you tried singing each other's songs, or do you have a favourite song that the other sings? Oh, I, I'm, I'm not. Sometimes I, could, I sing it in the shower. Yeah, I, I sing it when I'm alone and no one can hear me. <laughs> me too. I could never hit that top note. No, I could, I could never sing. I could never sing to find gravity night after night, not um, like Jackie does. I love when Carly does popular. <laughs> it's my favourite. We have a lot of fun during that scene, and um, and she's, you know, she's, she's so funny, <laughs> and she sings it so well. It's it's brilliant. I love. I always um, I'm I'm always waiting to come on stage at the the moment when you sing No Good Deed, and I'm standing on the terror waiting to come on, and I always watch Jackie in that bit. I love it. Um, so how did you guys prepare for this run? Because it involves a lot of travel, so is there any yeah. spe special preparations you guys had to do? Uh, well, we we started rehearsals and, and um, 11 weeks ago and then we did a, a short run um, in the UK. In the UK. Yeah and this is our little bit of um, time off because the set and everything is coming over oh, here right. on 18 uh, shipping containers so it's currently on a on a big boat on its way here but um to to, to prepare for travel we we had to get jabs we had to and we had to go to the doctors and make sure that our passports were in date yeah. and um yeah. yeah, and make sure that we could fit everything in in suitcases. suitcases. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but it, we're we're so excited to it's it's such such an amazing experience to be able to to travel with work oh, yeah. and um, to go to go out on the road and and bring Wicked to places where it might never have been before, and then to also bring it back to to, to, Manila. to, to Manila. And um, so, yeah, we're just so excited, and it's going to be. Gonna be a, a, a wonderful adventure. Yeah, that's it. It's gonna be an adventure. Mm -hmm. So Abby says that mm -hmm. I'm afraid of heights. Do you ladies ever felt afraid when you guys had to fly mm -hmm. on during the show? Yeah, that's a good question, Abby. Yeah, yeah, really good. The first time I I went in the bubble, I I went onto the the I went in the bubble in the Apollo Victoria Theatre in London, and at the start of the show, she, I, I'm actually, you know, above above the curtain. So I think it's about 18 meters above the ground. And the first time I went in it, it's it's really scary because I, I have a harness at, at the back, but I I could I can step forward. So it's that feeling that if you stepped, you know, you're you're going to fall a little bit. But yeah. it's um, I I love it now. It's it's yeah. it's so so thrilling every night, and that entrance is is you know yeah. like none yeah. other yeah. so it's it's scary but but I, I'm, I'm quite used to it now yeah. I think and I think the same with with um, when I'm flying in, in Defying Gravity there's there's so much going on um, you know the, the music the there's guard <laughs> running on stage <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and I've got lots to do uh, so so yeah I don't really think about it but once I'm up there it's, it, yeah, it feels amazing it feels really powerful um, is there any song in the play that you resonate to personally, or what would best describe your personality? Is there um, a song from Wicked? Yeah. Ooh, that's a good mm, question. That is a good question. Um, I, I, I love uh, singing for good at the end. Yeah. I think, you know, it's a, a true testament of these women, and, and they you know they're they're the best of friends and i think that's something we can all relate with you know mm -hmm. i know for us leaving our friends and family to, yeah. uh, to to come over to to um you know to play to to this side of the world is you know that's that's sad to say goodbye and i think that's something that we it's hard to say goodbye to people and i think that can resonate with everyone yeah yeah i agree with you on that one yeah um who do you look up to most in theater um, any theatre heroes, idols? Yeah, loads. Um, I love Kelly O'Hara. She's 
she's just a, seems like such a beautiful person and is extremely talented. Mm. Um, Christy Chenoweth, of course, is somebody who I really looked up yeah. to. There's some incredible actors and actresses that, that work in the West End and you know some of whom I'm, I'm really fortunate to, to call friends and yeah. I actually I went to see a play in London recently with a woman called Denise Goff oh. in it and people places things people places things and that was a moment where I yeah. I was astounded at what I was watching she blew blew me away and yeah, I think everybody was, who watched it could, could agree with that. Oh yeah, I, I couldn't believe what I was watching. She was astounding. Yeah, so inspiring. Yeah. I am, um, well I've been very fortunate to, to work with, you know, Rachel Tucker, Louise Dearman and Villamine who mm -hmm. have all played the role of Elphaba mm -hmm. um, and a few of them are continuing to play the role of Elphaba so I, I remember starting in Wicked and thinking goodness these women are are amazing and they still are and, and friends of mine now so I yeah I really look up Did to them. Did they give you any advice on playing yeah, that? Absolutely they are wonderful wonderful women um yeah and goodness yeah. And they're finishing tomorrow the today. Oh, today. London. Okay. Oh, <laughs> yeah the London cast are finishing today so, so wish them well send them a message enjoy. On, on Twitter or, or Instagram or something. Send them some love over in London. Yeah, send them some love. <laughs> Um, so what got you guys into theatre? Oh, I don't know. I, I've, I've always sort of, um, I've danced when I was younger. Um, I started singing when I was 13. Um, and I guess it's just something that I, I've always, I've always loved it. Um, I remember when I was about 16, 17 um, in drama school and sort of said to my mum and dad, I think I would like to do this as a career. And they said, okay, okay, but you must make sure you get your grades at school and then if, if you get the grades you want, you can go off to drama school uh, down in London and um, we'll audition for drama school. So, so I did um, and luckily got in to, to the Guildford School of Acting and, and that was it. I've never, I've never wanted to do anything else. This is, this is it. Yeah. Yeah, same as Jackie, I've wanted to do this from uh, a really young age and I didn't, I didn't really know how how you went about it i didn't know that there were specific places that you could train at that sort of information and 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 and, and training wasn't really available to me where where i lived in in scotland and i went to an incredible place called the dance school of scotland in glasgow and that gave me the best foundation for 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 this career and then i went to arts educational schools in London and had well, some of the best years of my life there and met some lifelong friends and yeah. got the most incredible training that 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 you know yeah. for the, that I needed to, in order to pursue this career so yeah it's something I've always wanted to do and yeah I thank my lucky stars every day that I that I'm that I'm yeah. managing to you know fulfill fulfill my dreams um Jay asks do you have any advice for young people who also want to pursue what you guys are doing? Absolutely, I think just just make sure that you continue with your training and um, you know it, it's so important to to make sure that you're physically, mentally fit to take to take on this this career because you know it, it's tough you know we get a, get a lot of knockbacks and a lot of you know, sometimes it doesn't work out the way you want it to, and, and that's the hardest bit. The I majority think. of the time, it doesn't. Most of the time, <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, and I, that, and that's the hardest bit. So you've yeah. got to be quite tough. Um, but yeah, but just never give up. You know, if you've got a goal, you've got to go for it. Yeah, follow your dreams, and you know, determination and mm. and drive. drive is 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 really what gets you. You know, to to where you want to be. So. Just, just keep on going with it, and 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 you'll get there. Yeah. Um, do you guys have anything you absolutely have to have with you? <coughs> Are you here? Hello. Hello. <laughs> um, we um, yeah. Do you guys have anything you absolutely have to have on tour? Mm -hmm. Bring on tour with you guys. Bring on tour. Gavaskar. Um. For me, we sat down at breakfast the other day and I'm obsessed with oh. Marmite. 
I love Marmite and I, I couldn't, they didn't have it at breakfast and I was quite upset. Hey, we're back. Hello. In Austria. <laughs> um, so things that we couldn't live without. Yeah. I definitely couldn't live without my, my steamer, which is, um, it's like a little ceramic uh, pot, is it? Uh, yeah, and it's got yeah. like a yeah, it's a ceramic pot, and it's got like a glass spout, and I put hot. Well, we we both have one, and we put hot water in it, and make sure that we can we sort of inhale the steam, and it's really good for our vocal cords when we're singing. So I I definitely couldn't live without that. And we've got little nebulizer things as well yeah. that we have on the side of the stage with us. And hi, theatre fans, Manila. Thank you so much for all your questions this morning on our Facebook Live Q and A. Apologies, it was a bit intermittent. Yeah, we um we've had a great time here, and we cannot wait to, to come back in February. Um, so please buy your tickets at ticketworld.com.ph and follow us on Twitter and Instagram to keep up with Wicked International Tour. Bye! Bye! <laughs>